Um, I'm doing work for Giant Clam, so I'm here on an ADAP scholarship. I'm from the Philippines, and I'm looking into uh, environmental factors that influence growth rates of juvenile giant clams in particular, uh, specifically with Gyrodacna gigas. Um, it's really interesting work because very little has been done about it uh, as indicated in the literature. And I'll be looking into temperatures, into conditions such as temperature, salinity, uh, light uh, mainly, and probably uh, look into the interacting effects of this elevator stage. Do you think that the work that you're doing could have application in uh, Philippine hatcheries, for example? Oh yes, very much, because actually this will sort of serve as a back as a basis for growing plants, because this all of this will be done on a micro scale basis and uh, using small laboratory um, scale, uh, which would uh, which would minimize using large numbers of clams for experimental purposes. This would form the basis of rearing gi giant clams in raceways at the juvenile stage anyway. What universities in the Philippines now are working on giant clam capture? Uh, presently there's the University of the Philippines uh, and the uni uh, Siliman University down south. Um, in, the Philippi uh, in UP, that's the University of the Philippines, it's the Marine Science Institute that's particularly involved in this. And with uh, the Siliman University, it's the uh, Siliman Marine, Siliman University Marine Laboratory.